What up? It's your boy Carlo back at it again. So today I'm going to be doing a wealth front review for April. So looking at my overall total wealth front investment account, today's balance is $9,465.87. So let's head over to the graph right over here. As of today, I've invested around $7,800. The total market value of the account is $9,465.87. So the return on investment as of year to date is around 20, 21%, which is really, really good. When you compare it to, let's hit the year to date. Uh, I like to use the S&P 500 as a benchmark. So right over here, we have around 16% uh, uh, year to date for the S&P 500. And 20% versus, so definitely beating the market as a year to date. And <clears throat> when you check out my previous video, I believe for the March 2019, I was up 15%, which is not too bad. So within a month, definitely up a pretty significant amount. So let's keep getting it. Alrighty, so just looking at the year to date for the different markets, US stocks, foreign, emerging markets, dividend, natural resources, munis, and cash. Overall, they've all been doing well. The one that's doing the best is natural resources. Specifically, I know um, the oil industry has been blowing up and the pun was intended. <laughs> but anyways, um, looking back at the US stocks, Everything has been doing well. The economy is doing great. Tariffs, you have, it's be definitely been subsiding with like news and fears of all of that. Brexit, interest rates staying low, uh, corporate e earnings blowing through the roof, uh, unemployment rates still staying low, and definitely we're hitting market highs. So obviously there's always going to be some hoopla about, ooh, market highs, it might crash. And supposedly the next recession but as of right now the market economy is looking really really good so as you could see and then let's go over to uh 2019 so just to explain um i've been investing 100 dollars a month as of the beginning of the year and then i increased it to 100 dollars every two weeks definitely since i have like extra money uh coming in so as you could see right over here and then all these little green dots down below shows you your deposits and when they invested your money as well as any type of dividends that you have received so let's go over to transactions so obviously you deposit the money from your bank account into Wealthfront and then based on your risk tolerance and the customized portfolio that they do make for you, they invest your money based on your portfolio. So as of March, they've invested in the Vanguard total exempt bond fund, which I did I receive a dividend for it? No, not. But this one, I did receive a dividend from the natural resources, which is pretty good. Moving on, we got a dividend from the Schwab uh, total market as well as high dividend of around 18 bucks. Not too bad. These these two ETFs are paid out quarterly as well as the XLE. And the great thing with Wealthfront, it, with the dividends that you do receive, it intelligently reinvests those dividends for you based on your customized portfolio that they do make for you. So it takes all the guests work out of, oh, where should I, should I do in US equity? Should I do in foreign? Should I do in munis? So it definitely takes all that out. It just sets it and forgets it. It is passive. Hence why I like working and using Wealthfront as a investment tool. So moving on, got some more from Vanguard uh, International uh right over here no fees whatsoever so i have um around 20 up to twenty thousand dollars managed for free so definitely if you guys do like i know i like wealthfront i have been making money with it so if you are interested in 
um, opening up a Wellfront account, definitely I'll drop my link down below. Help you save some money, help me some, save some money. So definitely got to help each other out. You know what I mean? Yee! So right over here, just more investments. Remember I was saying earlier that I've been investing every two weeks. So it doesn't always invest all your money for, uh, that you deposit it always has like some small cash reserves. So sometimes when you do uh, invest and deposit, it's not gonna invest, always invest all the money that you have. And then just again, uh, international with dividend appreciation, paid out quarterly. And the very last one is the Vanguard total exempt bond fund, which will, this is the only ETF that does pay you out uh, monthly all the other ones do pay you out quarterly just last recap it's really passive it intelligently invests for you depending on your risk profile um, it invests your deposits so you takes all the guesswork out of it for you if you are interested in opening up a wealthfront account definitely please 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 do sign on under my link down below it'll help both of us and you know Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hit that subscribe, hit that like. I'll see you guys next time for the next one. Peace.